this uh, little thing and when I flown it first time I was like I was so scared man to be honest I was so freaking scared that I will crash it that I will like lose it or something like that because uh, it is small and you lose sight of it you know as soon as it takes off and, and fly like 50 meters away from you you don't see it anymore uh, if you're not like spider-man or something like that you will not be able to see it because it's very small and it is a very very quiet little thing so uh, basically you don't hear it anymore so and if you are flying like in how do i say it like a place where there is a lot of trees like branches and stuff like that um, this little thing have sensors all around it you know have like anti-collision like sensors but uh, it looks like they are tiny cameras so but yeah i have bring my drone and controller obviously so uh, let's put everything together and try to make some aerial photos or videos you know i'm not that big much in photography but uh, i am i will be honest i am more of a fan more fan of a video if you ask me you know video is like a beautiful way of capturing memory of like capturing any any place like to be able to capture motion you know and to see it later on uh, for me that's something amazing and since like the phones uh, that have video ability you know that have ability to make videos since they are up i'm just crazy about video you know uh, the first phone i that i had that was able to to like make video was i think it was like a siemens phone but uh, it was siemens uh, mc60 or something like that it was a small little phone and it was like a i don't know man early 2000s or something like that uh, beautiful time beautiful memories you know of course but uh, these days now on like phones can pretty much record same stuff as like a, i would say cinema camera you know you will not be able to tell if a guy is really good with editing is really good with like light and stuff like that you know manipulating light and you know do all that jazz which i am not able uh, you will think it's oh my god this video is filmed with like a 10,000 euros professional camera but uh, it can be like iphone 13 you know those stuff uh iphone iphones they are really powerful uh, and people know how to use them and those people aren't me so i'm here to learn you know if i didn't say in my like intro video i'm beginner in everything like literally second time to be flying this and it will be over this lake and i pray to god uh not to crash it in the lake and i pray to god to like uh, this thing that i don't lose it because uh, it costed me like almost my entire like monthly salary so but I did it, I bought it because I love it and I have passion for it. So let's go closer to this lake and try to like uh, get, thing, get this thing flying and you know make some video. Let's go. So um, I have found this like a little wooden bench here and you know DJI it won't uh, take off if like it's the, if it's not on the flat surface you know I mean I don't know maybe it can but uh, for me uh, it constant it constantly says that it uh, that you need like a at least somewhat of a flat level surface to for the drone to be able to fly and oh my god one more thing uh, German people they are so active man like they are so active and they are constantly walking and they are saying hello and they are like looking me weird like who is this dude you know and I said hello at least 15 times uh, in between this shot and, and you know filming me and, and like unpacking my stuff here but 
uh, I think one uh, I get one thing uh, you have to be able to get used to to like people passing by and like try not to pay that much attention to that but uh, damn that's a hard thing to do I am nervous just to talk to a camera but uh, if anyone is counting uh, how many times I say but uh, please comment down below that stuff so uh, let's fire up everything and you know see how it will go so uh, let me like start first I like fire up the controller and then the drone it's like very simple just press once and press the other time really long so and just like that it goes to life it's alive oh my god uh, this sound uh, I'm not sure where I uh, it's a sound that uh, older phones has uh, as a message notification for home a message so yeah it literally says home point uh, updated uh, and that means that if my battery runs low and my drone is like far away from me drone will like start coming back alone and it will land on this spot so that's a I would say badass uh, option to have okay uh, let's try to fly this uh, little bug okay it asks it, it asked me ask it ask me uh, if I checked propellers they're all obviously okay so uh, it says take off which is good thing let me uh, choose video mode but okay I will say thing this thing uh, I am not that good uh, in editing in making like a uh, beautiful shots in um, doing like that color correction but as this channel progress as this as i progress i'll try to make uh, the best of it so let's fly man let's record first and then fly i don't know if you can hear it but uh it is not that loud like if you guys can hear me normally and this thing is literally, literally hovering like in front of my face uh, that's a sign that this thing is not that loud so uh, let's go up and we are flying oh my god uh, damn the video of this thing is just perfect okay let's go up Oh my god, as I go up, I am pressing the gimbal down. Oh my god, like uh, the sheer video just on the controller. Okay, I, I like <laughs> the video on the controller looks damn impressive. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Let's see what's around. Oh my, like, the shot is damn amazing. Oh, what the heck is this? Um, not sure if I can spy on things with a drone, but uh, if I can... Okay, I will not, but I think this is like a stone mining uh, facility. Yeah, this is the place where they kind of like take out the white stone and stuff like that. But damn, look at the nature, look at the patterns of the nature. Oh my God. I'm just amazed by this little thing. Like, 
I will do my best and, and edit as much as I can, but I am just mind blown by this little thing. Okay, let me fly a little bit to this village. Uh, I actually live in this village, so I will not, by the way, show where my house is, so yeah. It is just amazing, like, the perspective that you get, like, of a place, of a just a, of just a simple town, can be amazing, man. It can be literally amazing. I am in love with this thing. 100%. So let's fly a little bit more. Look at the nature, like, look at the nature. This is, if you ask me, this is magic. <laughs> like, the nature is beautiful, man. Like, it's amazing how uh, we... control in my hands which is uh, I would say not the best thing so yeah uh, let's fly back to me and try to like land and catch this little thing but in general like look at those uh, like uh, wind electricity producing stuff I don't know how to call it in English but I will call it in language that I can translate, so yeah. Damn, this is amazing. If you can see this tower on the like left, like I'm looking directly to it right now. Um, if you can see it, uh, you can climb this tower basically for free and uh, it is not that far away from here. I actually climbed it a few times, so... Okay, right now I am flying directly above myself, so... And I can hear the drone a little bit. 
Oh my god, this is amazing. This is just beautiful, man. Okay, I will stop here and try to land, but you have zero idea where it is. This is what I'm saying. I don't see it. I hear it a little bit, but I cannot uh, see this thing. <clears throat> so, that was a, a very a nice experience. That was a very, uh, I would say, a little bit scary experience for me because uh, drone lost his connection with the RC for a moment because I think it lost its connection because I flown it. Uh, it was not very far from the joystick, from the from its controller, but I think uh, I was low and the drone kind of flew away uh, behind a, like a tiny hill or something like that. But it literally returned to its home point automatically. So um, I stopped my video because like uh, the guys, I mean the people, you know, that uh, came behind me, they literally um, approached me and we started talking, you know, uh, they asked me, you know, oh my God, are you doing like professional photography and professional videos? And I was like, no, like the only thing that I do professional in my life is like um, welding and stuff like that. So that was a weird uh, and nice experience. So yeah, hello. hello. But um, you see, I'm getting used to uh, saying hello to people. But uh, okay, I think I said word, but at least 50 times in this video but okay i will try to keep myself down from not saying but all the time and yeah what where i stopped uh it was nice experience you know to talk to people and i told them no people i'm like literally i'm a welder i just do this because i like it and I do this because I was always fascinating by the photography, you know, and I was always fascinating by the videos that I see on YouTube. And the people, like, it's beautiful what people can make, you know, uh, with just a simple, simple equipment, you know, uh, like in the like all the days, I would say early 2000s, uh, you will need to hire like helicopter to carry a giant ass camera to film something uh, what I did right now you know similar to what I did right now so yeah uh, and with that said guys uh, I will stop my video here I hope somebody will watch it and if you are watching me please subscribe it means a lot to me and like like the video if you want you know and like all all the stuff that people who are having youtube channels are talking you know like subscribe comment and stuff like that but do that only if you want it you know so uh stopping the video here and damn i have my like full week in front of me to edit this and that will be a little bit challenging because editing videos is also a new thing for me so yeah stopping my video here guys thank you all for watching my videos and for my video you know and i will see you in another one goodbye ciao